Hi, my name is Jelaine Jones, and I am a lifelong Oregonian and mother to my vaccine-injured daughter, Hallie. Um, she was vaccine injured at four months old while on a delayed vaccination schedule. And unfortunately, it was denied by her pediatrician. We saw three pediatricians within a week after her vaccinations, all from the same clinic. And they all denied that she was having a vaccine reaction. And they just kept saying that it's all coincidental. Within a month after her vaccinations, I had made 12 in-person office visits and phone calls to the advice nurse and had to demand to have uh, referrals to a pediatric gastroenterologist, to a pediatric neurologist and dermatologist because of her reaction she was having. She was covered in head to toe rashes. She was crying unconsolably. She was having seizure-like episodes. She was vomiting and having diarrhea profusely and over the, the next few months, with by three months post-vaccination, she had lost two pounds and she stopped growing. She didn't grow at all from four months until almost 10 months old before she grew an eighth of an inch um, because she wasn't getting any nutrition because everything was coming up and out. Um, all of the specialists that we saw, they said that something was wrong, but they didn't know what, and they agreed maybe it could have been the vaccinations, but there was no way to prove it. And so I'm here opposing House Bill 3063. My family has multi-generations of chronic illness and autoimmune diseases, and under this bill, it's going to remove the religious and philosophical exemptions which means that my daughter will not be protected. We're gonna be forced to vaccinate her or have to homeschool her. The Oregon Health Authority has very strict guidelines on who qualifies for medical vaccine exemption, and my daughter does not qualify. Under the CDC guidelines, she does because they do take family history and autoimmune diseases into consideration, but the Oregon Health Authority does not. House Bill 3063 will put children like my daughter in jeopardy and the Oregon Health Authority, they do not take the doctor's professional opinions into consideration when they decide who gets the medical exemptions. The Oregon Health Authority has no idea what my family history is like. They have not seen what we have been through with her reaction. I urge you to join me in the fight opposing House Bill 3063.